What's good, y'all? Welcome back. Bro, come on, don't text me. Alright. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, man. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram, my Twitter. You know, turn on post notifications, man, because sometimes YouTube be bugging. Bro, YouTube is like broken, bro. Like, you can't trust it, sadly. But make sure to turn on the post notifications, bro. But, uh, I got a story time today, man. Uh, if y'all can tell by the title, yup. Uh, that's just tough. But yeah, today's story time is gonna be talking about how I got exposed at my first AAU tryouts, man. This was, I believe, this was like in, I think it was, this is my junior year? I think it was my junior year, yeah. It was my junior year. And uh, this was like in, I believe, late January, maybe, maybe mid January. Uh, the basketball team was called Basketball University. If y'all don't know, that's like a team. It's one of those like uh, Adidas like sponsored teams. So like you know you got the Adidas Uprising, you got the Nike EYBL, you got the Under Armour Association. Yeah, so this uh, team in Houston for Basketball University was for the Adidas tournament. So if you know, you got to be good, bro, to play AAU. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, junior year, man, I didn't. I wasn't practicing the right way, so I'll just leave that there. So, uh, junior year, man, I'm like, bro, I'm ready to go. I'm better. I'm about to be on this team, man. It's gonna be. It's gonna get me closer to where I want to be at. Cause, I mean, bro, it's nothing like traveling while playing basketball, bro. Like, like myself, I like to travel, like, and then I love basketball. So add those two together, you go like different states, bro, different cities, and all that. You get to go to hotels, man. Chill with the homies and all that. So it's all it's all fun, man. You get you get gear and all that. I'm sorry if I sorry, right, man, but excuse me. But uh, yeah, man, you get good gear and all that stuff, man. I was like, yeah, bro, I'm, I'm ready for this, man. And yeah, man. So I remember the night before. It wasn't only myself. It was my my boy Evan. We both tried out at the same time. Uh, it was two days, so. Um, the day before, we got up some late night shots, I remember. Uh, yeah, those shots were, it was alright, but remember now, I didn't, I didn't know how to practice the right way, man, so just keep that in mind. Um, we'll go skip over to practice day, it was the next day, day one of tryouts. And, um, yeah, they put us through some drills, um, stretching, of course. That's like the first thing we did. After that, we did we did some dribbling drills. No, they had it was multiple goals in one gym, and they had one group over here working on their handles, throwing the handles. One group over here working on like post moves and all that. Oh yeah, because it was separated. They separated a guards, and then they had guards right here, and they had guards on the other side. Of the, no, yeah. They had guards on one side of the gym, and they had wings on the other side of the gym. So my boy Evan, he's like, he's like six one, six two. So he was, um, he went over with the, the wings people. Seeing him over there, I was in the guards because I'm only five nine. I'm not gonna be no wing player, but um, yeah. Um, the dribbling drill was all right. <laughs> we just had to dribble through cones, like. One cone crossover, another cone crossover again. Uh, the shooting drill, I remember um, we were shooting shots. I want to believe one of the shots was pull-ups and one of them was catch and shoot. And you had, that catch and shoot was contested. And there, there was a coach um, contesting your shot. And I remember, um, what was it? I'm trying to remember. Yeah. Oh my God, bro. If y'all remember that last time, I was talking about, um, yeah, I remember last time I was talking about this lady staring at me, bro. I'll see her again, bro. I don't know what's going on. Just following me, man. Nah, but, um, uh, what was it? I forgot. But yeah, we were doing the contested drills and all that. 
then also we were playing scrimmages and all that. Um, I'm gonna keep it honest. I wasn't really paying attention to my boy Evan, but uh, I know myself. I did horrible with the shooting drill. Remember, um, back then I, I call myself a good shooter, but I wasn't able to shoot in games. Like it was tough for me because I'll be able to shoot good in practice, but whenever game time hits, bro, like my shots would just wouldn't fall down for me. So that was the time when I was like, bro, like. I was good at shooting in practice, but whenever it was game time for game time, I was freaking whack. So, scrimmages, I had, I think I shot the ball like one time, bro. And, yeah, I didn't, I wasn't doing no ISOing and all that. Because remember, man, like basketball is not about ISOing. Y'all see James Harden ISOing like a lot of the times, man. But I'm not saying don't do that because you'll have like moments of times of when you're in an ISO and all that. But uh, majority of the time, bro, you just got to – you pass the ball, you, you catch it, you, you either <laughs> – bro, my freaking uh, expanders. You either um, catch it and do a quick move with it or pass it off, shoot it, do whatever, man. So I really wasn't doing a lot of dribbling and all that. And, uh, yeah, it was like one team you get scored on, you got to get off the court, another team came on. They score, they stay on the court. So I did bad in that one, man. And then, this is when the exposure came, bro. And these guys were good. I'm not going to lie. I mean, if I were to play them now, I feel like I have a better chance on guarding them because my uh, lateral quickness is way better than it was. Bro, I don't know why the car just shook. <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah, um, yeah, right now, if I were to play him again, I will be a little more um, experienced and way more better than I was last time, my junior year of high school. So, yeah, man, we did it like a... So, basically, we started at the baseline, um, and you had to stay in like a specific area of the court. They don't want you going on one side of the court to the other, no. They want you to go like a straight line, and you yeah, one person with the ball, and a defender, and... Myself, I remember I had the ball, and you had to get from one point to another. And when I had the ball, nah, I got out of the box. Coach was like, next. And that was tough, man. Uh, also, when I was a defender, bro, like, I got straight exposed. My, dude, they just blew by me like nothing. They did a quick move. Bow, bow. And they just went fast, bro. I'm like, dang, bro. The embarrassing part, too, is... My, pa my family was there, too, man. Like, that was pretty sad. Like, I'm like, bro, like, I love this game so much. And then to see, like, my parents in the gym, that's cool and all. But for me to get exposed, bro, that was that was tough. I'm not going to lie, man. But, um, I mean, you live and you learn, bro. And it's on to the next, man. Yeah, that was day one of practice, man. We had, we had... Yeah, we had scrimmages and all that. And that's all I can remember for that first day, man. That first day was tough, man. Um, of course, I appreciate my family for supporting me, man. But whenever it gets exposed like that, bro, it's like, dang, dude. I didn't get crossed, so that's a good thing, man. I, I feel like I almost did. Like, my foot kind of like, like, you know, like, yeah. Like, you know when, like, you feel like your foot kind of like... I didn't get crossed. Let's just say that, all right? But um, that was day one, day two. I don't know what happened to my boy Evan, man. He didn't show up. <laughs> my man Evan didn't show up, man. But uh, I went to day two. I'm not going to lie, bro. I was, because I got exposed the first day. I was like, bro, I, I really didn't want to go to the second day, bro. Because mentally, it was so, like, mentally, I was so, like, I won't say tired, but I was... I was in fear, basically. I was in fear because, like, man, like, I got exposed first. I already know I'm not going to make the team, bro, like, because I did so bad this first day. But I was like, even I was telling my dad, I was like, I got a, I got a bad stomach ache. I don't know if he, I don't know if he knew I was trying to, like, skip the tryouts or nothing, but I was like, well, my stomach hurts. But he was, I was hoping he'd say, oh, you want to stay home? But he didn't say that, so I was like, oh, okay, damn. So, but yeah, 
So we went to day two of tryouts, man. Day two, I'm trying to remember. I believe day two, we really didn't do no drills or nothing. We just did scrimmages. And, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we just did scrimmages. So if you score, um, if you score here on one side of the court, you keep the ball. You got to score again on the other side of the court. If you're not, the other team gets the ball and another team gets the opportunity to try to stop you. Bro, and I did good. I mean, yeah, I, I held my own, but, um, I didn't score. Probably like the amount of shots that I took was maybe just, I wanna say two jump shots, man. And I wanna say I did better my second day than my first day. Um, I took one shot, it was a three. And it was a three pointer and it went, and tore the ball, it went in and out. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was like, bro, come on, man, I, I was in there. But um, let's see, and then it was a fast break. I had the ball. I could have got a layup, but I felt a defender coming towards me, right behind me, and I see my teammate behind me. So I went ahead and dumped it off to him. He dunked it. Uh, the AAU uh, coach was like, good pass, good pass. I even got it on video. I got to find it, though. Yeah, I think my mom got the video, but yeah, man. Day two was, um, it was, it was good. It was tough, but both days were tough, man, and I, and yes, um, to conclude, I didn't make the team, bro. Um, but it was a good experience, man, because it showed me, bro, like, that I wasn't practicing the right way. Like, because back then, I used to shoot stationary shots, just shoot it, and then I'll just get the ball, do it again, and all that. I wasn't taking shots that I would take in games. I wouldn't, I wasn't working on my layups that much. I wasn't doing all these other things, bro. And, but that AAU trials, bro, like, it still sticks to me, man. Like, mentally, it was it was tough. I'm not going to lie, bro, because those players, just, they're better than you, man. And you're, like, and you're so used to playing people either, like, your, like, level or maybe people under you because they pull up and they want to hoop with you and all that. But um, it was a good experience, man. And I remember when I went to gym, gym for school the next two days after that, no, it was the next day. I was like, and I was playing my um, high school people, the basketball team, and I was like, bro, this is nothing. Like, <laughs> it's nothing because I played better people for AAU. Yeah, but mentally, bro, mentally it could be tough, man, but you just got to fight through it, man, and continue to learn, bro. If you have any mistakes, failures, it's all right. They happen. You just got to learn from it. And that AAU trials was a good experience, man. Like, say it again, bro. Like, if I were to play again right now, I would do way better than I um, did a couple years back, man. But, yeah, that's the story time, man. Uh, I got exposed. And I'm not going to lie. I was happy, too, whenever day two was done with. Because, like, yeah, I had some of the coaches hyping me up and all that. And I was cool and all. But just to get that like experience out the way under my belt i'm like okay cool like I, I was happy because i finished what i started even though i didn't make the team i already knew i didn't make the team but i still showed up and i was trying to get better and find my weaknesses man and i found my weaknesses of being too slow moving laterally on defense and my handles my shooting shit game shots and all that man so that was a good experience, man. But, um, yeah, that's the end for the video, man. And that was for story time. My first time trying out for an AU team, bro. And the AU team is Basketball University. You can look it up. Um, what's his name? Greg Brown. I think that's his name. He's on. He played for them. He's like a. Is he a senior right now? I think it's a senior right now. And then. EJ Montgomery, he went. To, he's going to Kentucky right now, like UK for Coach Cal. He played on university, basketball university, man. So he was under the Adidas circuit. But yeah, that's the end of the video. <laughs> oh! Somebody! Oh! He no. needs some milk. God, I don't know. Is that what? Yeah, that's the end of the video, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the vid, man. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. 
uh, follow me on my socials, man. I really need you all to follow me on my socials, man, because I'll be posting some exclusive content on there as well. I'll be showing you all my life and all that. I want you to, like, because I know many coaches and trainers on YouTube don't really, like, show their side. Like, they don't show, like, their personality and all that. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to be, like, one of those coaches that's, I, yes, I want to be all business, but I want to be able to show y'all, like, like me, like JP, all right? So make sure you go follow me, my, my personal Instagram, my basketball Instagram, and my Twitter. I'm really trying to get my Twitter up there, too, as well, man. But I appreciate all y'all. Make sure to subscribe, man. Turn on post notifications, bro, so you won't miss a video. And I got more heat coming y'all's way, man. Just continue to support me, man. I really appreciate y'all, man. I don't know how many times I said that, but, bro, hope y'all have a good day, man. See y'all next video. Yeah.